the Open One has a very interesting user interface. Uh, what can you tell us about it? What's the idea behind it? Yeah, we worked quite a lot with that because we want the uh, Open One to be very accessible and easy to understand and still want to have a lot of functionality in it. Um, so, for example, this screen here is uh, one of the synthesizers, the Pulse. And I've done the audio behind it, uh, and then Jasper has done the graphics to it, and we, together, all of us, have talked about how it should look and feel. So this is what you see here is kind of an abstract representation of what's actually going on in the uh, code behind the scenes when the synthesis is running. Uh, but the idea behind all of this is it should be color coded so you immediately understand if you turn a knob what's going to happen and you should also get a feeling for how it sounds depending on what's happening in here. So I mean here's an easy example. You have a modulator, you see it's doing something and now it's going super fast and if you play you can see the shape there being quite edgy but if you go here it becomes smoother and the sound also becomes smoother uh, and this is kind of an abstract representation of what's actually going on you introduced tape at the op1 can you tell us a bit more about that i, I think the tape is really interesting uh, for me it's a very obvious thing because i've been working with that technology uh, I'm not sure how the new generation feels about that. Maybe they're like, oh, what's this? Two round circles. Oh, they move around. Why is that? But it's, at least to me, something very direct and obvious. And you can see the different tracks. And, okay, here's something. Uh, you immediately get what you're, what you're having without having to stare at the waveform. Because I think that's kind of a sickness when you work with a computer that you look at the sound instead of listen to it. Uh, and I hope that this can kind of bring back the listening part to make music. Uh, can you just uh, use some different features and tell us what you're doing and what's mm -hmm. happening on the display? Yeah, um, the, the bass up is pretty simple. Uh, these four buttons select which main mode you're in. So now I'm in the synthesizer mode, and then you can edit synthesizer obviously. Uh, then this is the drum part and here we have sample drums so we display the waveform for the drum and it snaps to whatever you're playing. Then uh, whatever you have selected here goes into the tape and we have the tape running um, and you can record and play back and then continuing we get going to mixer uh, standard layout where you can do volume and panning and the sound goes through an EQ and then it continues and to the first right you can see the output screen uh, and when I stop it stops setting some memory is it uh, yeah you have uh, eight slots for sounds so uh, wherever you are in the synth drum part you always have eight uh, sounds loaded and then you can have additional sounds that you can uh, recall from offline memory. Uh, tell us about external connections, how you connect it to speakers, for instance. We have a uh, line in, line out, um, and you can also connect the microphone to the input. We have a small built-in microphone here, a small speaker here. Uh, USB is mainly used for charging, but you can also transfer files to your computer back and forth. Uh, and that's actually it. I mean, it's this is all just aluminium, solid. Um, so here's where you connect it up. Okay, uh, tell us what we're seeing right now. This is the EQ part of the mixer. Uh, and what you're seeing is actually what you're hearing. So you have the low part here, the mid part here, and the high part here. And you can just make the sound clean by turning the red knob to clean, or you can go to whatever max extreme you want to have. And the idea is to kind of describe the sound so the high is a bit sharp and pointy and the bass is round and 
we also try to you know have the graphics as visual and moving as possible so when there's nothing playing it just looks like whatever it is but when the sound comes it becomes live are you influenced on, by something to do it this way or it's not about having it simple and easy to understand. So hopefully when you see this you should kind of get an idea what's happening and you should also get immediate response. So if, if you do something, something should happen both in the visuals and the sound. It shouldn't be just a not turning some value deep down inside the unit. And again, we try to be as visual as possible to display what's going on. So, what the meter is showing is kind of what you're hearing from tape. Ah, cool. Mm. 